name's Nick Harden. I work for Agilent Technologies as a product support engineer looking after GCMS products. I've been with Agilent for 16 years. Uh, product support, we work with R&D and marketing and the quality teams to ensure that the instruments that Agilent puts out are supportable for our field service engineers and work in real world applications and uh, real world environments like our customers run our instruments in. The Product Support Lab is um, set up for a variety of different applications and one of those applications is testing our new hydro inert source and so a couple of years ago I went through the process of getting hydrogen set up in the Product Support Lab. The peak hydrogen generator produced gas of the quality that we require for carrier gas on GCMS. It was also much easier to uh, set up in the lab to put a hydrogen tank into my lab required some EHS reviews, some occupational health and safety reviews, and re-plumbing around the walls of the lab. And it became much easier to just have a one-off cost of setting up a hydrogen generator, and therefore I could have a bit more flexibility in my hydrogen uh, applications. I could move it from GC to GC or I could fix it in place and plumb it to a reticulated system throughout the lab. I'm very comfortable using hydrogen in my lab especially when it's coming from a hydrogen generator. In fact many years ago we produced the, um, the method translator tool and that's been very effective in helping customers convert between carrier gases and speed up their methods. You can speed up your chromatography and the Van Dempter plot, you know, maintain a lot of chromatographic resolution while pushing the peaks through faster using hydrogen as a carrier gas. So it's a very good uh, carrier gas and with the hydro inert iron source we have enabled customers to get helium-like spectrum from their GCMS systems but using hydrogen as a carrier gas.